Now, the first time you open PowerShell, there's going to be a common thought that everybody has. I had it when I opened this up in live classrooms. First thought is, that's just Command EXE with a blue background. It's a little bit different formatting. PowerShell and Command EXE certainly do have similarities. Those similarities hide a complexity and a power that you need to be familiar with and you're going to learn in this course. Both of these definitely are a command line environment and both allow the creation of scripts. Now that is one of the really cool things about PowerShell. It leverages everything you've learned about the old command com and the command exe environments. Uh, your old command.exe commands still work in PowerShell. A directory, CLS, etc. So what I want to do is I'm going to jump out to the desktop. We'll open the PowerShell environment. And you'll notice that if I type CLS, it clears the screen. If I type DRR, it gives me directory functionality. CLS, once again, clears the screen. Now, don't worry about how my fonts look and the colors and size of the window. I'll show you how to change all that a little bit later on in the course. But for now, just think about the fact that everything we've learned in command.exe still applies for us. So what's the big deal? What's the difference between PowerShell and the command.exe environment? Well, command.exe did give you a command line interface but you had a very limited set of functionality as far as the operating system and the network was concerned. It did give you a text-based scripting environment, but dealing with command results was difficult. Command EXE does not provide access to many aspects of the operating system and applications without some seriously convoluted coding and scripting techniques. PowerShell is, under the hood, an object-based scripting language. Everything you deal with in PowerShell is an object, and since you're dealing with objects that are based on the .NET framework, there's a lot of intelligence kind of wired in under the hood, and this makes dealing with command results very, very easy and efficient. PowerShell provides access to the .NET framework. Now, the .NET framework, we'll talk a little more about this later, is the building block of the Windows operating system and exposes all the Windows functionalities. Now what I hope to do in this course is just kind of whet your appetite, give you just enough knowledge to really go crazy working with the .NET framework and objects and so forth to see what's going on. But an example would help you right here. So let's go back out to the PowerShell environment. Now notice uh, I can type ipconfig in PowerShell and I can get ipconfig to show up. Well, that's kind of cool, but now let's clear the screen, CLS, and let's look at what we can also do with ipconfig. Notice with a PowerShell command, ipconfig, the pipe command, out file and tell it where to send the results to a text file and then open that text file. I want you to notice what happens. When I run it, it creates a text file out there called iptext. It loads the results, and notice it even formats those results properly into that text file. And I can close this, and if I go look, I actually have this text file now located on the root of my C drive. And I can put it anywhere I want to with my file path argument here, or parameter. Now this is incredibly cool. I didn't have to parse anything. I didn't have to tinker with anything. I just simply had to pipe it, use the out file commandlet, and tell it where to send it. We will look at examples like this all through the course, but there you get a little hint of the power that's coming to you as a result of PowerShell. What's the difference between PowerShell and command.exe? PowerShell gives you the programming power and the accessibility of an object-oriented programming language, but yet you're still in a scripting environment. That is really, for most parts for administrators, almost unlimited power because everything you have out there, all of your servers, whether they're Windows Server 2003, 2008, 2012, or whatever's coming next, whether you're running Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and so forth, again, they're all built on the .NET framework. And the .NET framework is always being extended. It's always adding new functionality. And so once you kind of get the hang of working with these objects, you can use PowerShell to access and manipulate virtually any aspect of this that you would like to. PowerShell is going to change the way you think about administration. 
But let me be honest with you here. PowerShell will require a bit of a learning curve. Now, for the most part, they've made it as consistent as possible, but there is enough differences in there, like anything with computers, to absolutely drive you nuts. I'll show you those things. We'll work through them together. But when you first open PowerShell and you think, hey, wait a minute, this looks like Command EXE, just notice that when you raise the hood and start working with this, this is a lot different. This is the difference between a tricycle and that brand new 2000 Corvette. I don't know if you've seen those things. They look awesome, okay? That's the difference between PowerShell and Command EXE.